Hey guys, it's Anton. The Great Lord premiered yesterday, January 30th, 2020, and if you don't remember, we covered the synopsis for this drama last year way back in May. I'll post a link reminding you guys at the end of this video in case you want to check it out to see what this series is all about. Looking at this video today, I know the question that may be burning in your mind is, is this show any good? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. From the trailers, even before the show got released, I thought it looked pretty good. It seems to be an unpopular opinion though because people just don't like Oh Yang Nana for whatever reason and I just don't know why. Maybe she's just really young and they don't like her acting. This is her first drama ever but she has been in previous film works such as Secret Fruit and Bleeding Steel. Or maybe they don't like her because she's Taiwanese. I don't like to get into politics and don't really care much about what her stance is on One China. Oh well, I'm pretty neutral going into The Great Lord when considering these two main leads. Roy Wang is probably another source of contention for people. These two are just so new to the drama game that the type of people who will be giving the show a chance will be those who A. will simply be watching it again on a whim, B. have read the novel before and want to see it in drama form, or C. are impressed by the great lord's level of detail and cinematography. I guess I fall into the C category. I mean, look at these visuals. It looks like it has movie production level budget. CGI and dramas are typically pretty bad because, well, they're TV dramas, often with over 50 episodes. A movie is usually about an hour or an hour and a half, whereas a drama has to conserve its budget for extended and repeated episodes. They simply can't afford to render fantastic scenes on every single episode. But The Great Lord has a truly beautiful looking environment and the magic effects look very polished. Of course, you can't simply judge a drama on the sole basis of its looks alone, but it is a definite attention getter. There have been huge budgeted mainland Chinese productions in the past that have tanked. Lots actually, and these dramas all usually fail because of one thing. The drama directors simply spent too much time and budget on the visuals and failed to deliver on the one thing that matters most above all else. That thing is storyline. If the storyline fails to captivate the audience, then no amount of visuals will make me want to sit through many dozens of episodes. Dramas, and especially C-dramas, which typically have over 50 episodes, are a huge time investment, and expensive doesn't necessarily mean better. It can be a lower budgeted production, and as long as the story is good, then it is enough for me to want to stick around for the entire show. There have been lots of dramas like this in the past as well. Anyways, I will give The Great Lord a first couple of episode chance like I do with every drama, and if this is something worth watching, then I will let you all know, but looking at it on the surface, it looks like a decent series to try. The Great Lord is a 48 episode series at around 45 minutes each, and as mentioned before, is currently broadcasting on iQIYI. The drama will air two episodes daily every Thursday through Saturday, and those with VIP access will have all six episodes in advance. If you guys find a place to watch this one with English subtitles, then feel free to share it with everyone down in the comments section below. Anyways, that's it for this video today. If you're interested in the in-depth synopsis of The Great Lord, you can click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen or down in the link in the video description below. Please remember to subscribe to this channel if you would like to get more drama news updates like this in the future. My name is Anton. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Later guys!